Hi, I'm Judy Klimak. I teach anatomy and histology, and I also teach embryology. I've been here at K-State since 1996, and before that I taught at Purdue for eight years. Um, I love this new space that we have, and uh, I'm excited to tell you a little bit more about it. Hi, everyone. I'm uh, Dr. Joel Svanovic, a.k.a. Dr. Z. I'm teaching uh, Gross Anatomy 1 and 2, and then the Neuroscience Selective course here, and then the three-dimensional uh, imaging anatomy of the uh, dog. I'm uh, working here and teaching here since 2005. Uh, prior to that, I was teaching at the vet school in Hungary, in Budapest, for five uh, years. And then I really like this uh, new uh, Wally Cash Anatomy uh, suit as well. It's a fantastic environment. Hey, I'm Kathy Sparks, um, and I've been at uh, Kansas State since 2017. So I uh, taught at the LSU School of Veterinary Medicine for 10 years, and then I was at Ross University, uh, where I coordinated the Anatomy 1 and 2 courses there. Um, and then after uh, leaving the, the Island School, um, I landed here in Kansas and um, have been uh, mainly involved with coordinating the small animal anatomy course and then I also uh, offer an applied anatomy elective course during the spring semester and then teach also in the large animal anatomy course. And recently we've um, started a uh, program for master students and so uh, I get an opportunity to actually pull in some human anatomy teaching um, with that as well. So uh, I taught in the old space that we had here for many years, and Dr. Z did as well. Um, I think what I like the most about this newly renovated lab is um, it, it always smells, I, wouldn't, I don't know if I would say nice, but way better than it used to. I mean, you, you, really, you used to be able to smell anatomy from anywhere in the building, and now, um, you know, we don't get complaints anymore. The downdraft tables... Uh, just pull the smell away, and it's really very pleasant to work in here. And I think that's probably the best thing about it, is the new equipment that we have. The air quality improved a lot compared to the old lab, and then this is the biggest advantage, the down the draft tables, it's, it's amazing. And then, personally, I really like the camera system and the screen system as well because uh, I'm using in a gross one, gross ten, and the neuroscience course, and then all of us uh, multiple time from the instru instructor uh, table, and then we can uh, uh, show the videos to the students uh, during the lab. It completely is a new interactive tool of this lab compared to the uh, old lab. And another thing that we're doing in the anatomy course relative to technology is um, the instructors will have iPads, um, and the students can get on and submit their questions in a question queue. Um, and so we can kind of monitor that on our iPads so that we're sure that we're able to get to um, certain student groups in the appropriate order um, so that the students can kind of continue working um, after submitting that question and not have to sit there with their hand up forever waiting for an instructor to get to them. So that's really nice as well. And we've also used the iPad um, to uh, record live video. Um, so mentioning the monitors again, um, we can switch to instructor view. Um, so anywhere in the lab, we can bring our iPads and if there's something interesting that we want to demonstrate to the entire class, we can project that to all of the monitors. So one of the things that I love about teaching anatomy is that it's one of the first subjects that students take. And it really is the foundation for all of their medical studies. And I, I like it because there's, they're learning a whole new language. And uh, also I've always taught in anatomy and histology. And so I have always seen the overlap between the subjects and I like to be able to bring in um, the, how they tie in with each other. But just seeing students and, and taking them from the very beginning when they really don't know much to the end. And I always try to remind them as they go through the year how much they've learned and um, and I'll, I'll stop teaching sometime in the middle of the year and I'll say, did you just realize that you can follow that whole sentence? And if I had said that to you in, in August, you would be completely lost. And so it really is a transformation, but um, we, we bring in clinicians to kind of bring in the clinical relevance, but it is really, they, they can't really learn much about medicine until they learn anatomy. So um, it, it to me is amazing how the 
body is put together, and I love helping students to see that. And then all of us, for all of us, it's really important to start the introduction of the students to the clinical importance, the clinical correlation to all of these uh, parts of anatomy that Dr. Klimek just mentioned. This is one of the, the most important part of the anatomy course during the entire first year to highlight the clinical correlation because we can see, uh, see that's why it's really important to, uh, to study and then learn for the students these uh, structures that what we are uh, teaching throughout the entire first year. And I guess to me, um, learning with a purpose um, is really important. So if you just give students a list of structures and say, here, go learn this, and they don't really know why they're learning it or why it's important, um, they can get really burnt out on that quick. Uh, but if you try to incorporate um, some clinical relevance into that, um, I think it gets them really excited about what the end goal is and why they're here in the first place. And so in the first uh, anatomy course, um, trying to incorporate what we call active learning breakout sessions, um, where we will have people from the clinics come in um, and talk a little bit about the anatomy that they're learning and why it is clinically relevant, um, and going through some actual case studies with the students. So in a lot of ways, you know, maybe they're not quite ready to understand it all, but at least it's an introduction to them to that clinical realm. Um, getting them you know, excited about being here and also giving them an opportunity to you know, kind of have a little bit of this vertical integration of our curriculum um, and intermingling, starting to intermingle a bit with the, with the clinicians so they don't feel um, as apprehensive about that whenever they get to their fourth year. Our, um, our technology in this room makes teaching really fun in this classroom as well because the students can at any given time, they can be watching and, and using their own computer and reading from the monitor. Like you can see right now that um, one of the lab guides is on the monitor. So they can be doing that, but we can also um, share what they're watching with the whole class, or we can share a video from our um, instructor station with the whole class. We can share video from our iPads. And so it's really very versatile. They can, uh, they, they really use that these monitors and the technology that we have quite a bit in here. And then they can use all of the skeletons that are all, all around in the uh, anatomy lab, all of these nice specimens. They can uh, use it during the class time and then after hours as well. So um, other things that we um, try to do um, to help the students is we realize that uh, not everyone learns the same way. Um, and so we're all involved in, in creating um, teaching resources that will connect um, to students. So we offer them choices. So maybe they like to learn from videos, you know, from watching videos or maybe through interactive images. Um, and so um, we work very hard um, to develop resources like that um, so that students have an option. They have a choice as to how they want to learn the content. 